the national champion, J.J. McCarthy out of Michigan. Um, another quarterback who I, I've seen go inside the top five, outside the top ten, but mostly always inside the first round. So let, let's talk about him for a bit. I McCarthy's interesting, right? I, I don't often see him kind of labeled as like the most accurate quarterback in this class, but looking at some of the numbers, like in the data around him, there's certainly kind of an argument for it. I, I notice, which I, I find very intriguing, especially since like Trevor pointed out in the draft guide, he, he doesn't shy away from those tight window kind of NFL level throws, whether it's in traffic or, or the middle of the field, he, he's able to make a lot of key throws and get them there quickly and efficiently where, where other guys might shy away from those throws. So Again, the numbers here, the, here's what they are. So on 20 plus average depth of target throws, his catchable pass rate is 59%, which is 96th percentile among all quarterback prospects since 2017. On 10 plus A dot throws, his catchable pass rate is 67%, which is also 96th percentile. And then overall, his catchable pass rate is 76%, uh, which is 99th percentile among all quarterback prospects so, since 2017. So some elite accuracy numbers there from from jj mccarthy which is kind of hard not to love definitely has some you know plays that you don't love as well which is why you know his turnover worthy play rate is, is kind of closer to average and but i think just his willingness to put the ball in the air more as well 60 percent of his passing yards coming through the air which is 84th percentile uh it speaks to his arm talent as well um now he doesn't offer the rushing upside um, like some of the other guys in this class, right? 3.7 rushes per game. So lower relative to the guys that we, we, we've talked about so far today. But um, yeah, I, I don't I don't mind J.J. McCarthy. I came away liking him a little bit more than I thought I would as well. And uh, again, not, to, you know, not that I'm like in love with him or anything, but I can see why top five is in the conversation for J.J. McCarthy. I think there's a lot. To, to like there and then sure there's some inconsistencies to his game which is just part of being a developmental prospect and another one that maybe is hard to picture hitting the ground running in the nfl but i i think he can get there what's really interesting about jj mccarthy is i actually have a very similar similar feel um and i came away liking jj mccarthy so much more than i kind of expected you look at the statistical production he's had a career high 332 pass attempts, 713 total attempts in his entire career. Never exceeded 3,000 passing yards in a season, never exceeded 22 passing touchdowns. The numbers are underwhelming, extremely underwhelming. But I do think that that speaks to the type of offense that Michigan was running. It was a pro style offense, leaned on the run. He wasn't asked to necessarily be the focal point of that offense, like not a ton of throws in key situations because the Michigan offense just wasn't in, in those positions. They weren't down a ton. They, you know, they didn't put the offense on JJ McCarthy's back and they didn't need to. So it's really hard to make that a knock on JJ McCarthy in particular. And I, I, I really thought, you know, the, the aggressiveness, the willingness to be aggressive over the middle of the field is something that stood out in comparison to some of the other prospects in mm -hmm. this class. I, I like the willingness to to throw into these you know tight situations. Not always advisable, but better than I, I think you know I'd, I'd rather have a guy that knows how to read the middle of the field. And I think that's something that McCarthy does pretty well. I also thought you know for as much as we didn't really see a ton of production uh, on the ground in particular with JJ McCarthy. Um, just 500 rushing, uh, just over 500 rushing yards over the past two seasons, eight rushing touchdowns, average only 3.2 yards per attempt uh, this past season at Michigan. I think he's sneaky creative as a scramble. He's a solid, solid athlete. I think um, that like, that's probably one of the most underrated aspects to his game. Um, you know, 32% miss forced tackle on uh, miss forced tackles on rush attempts this past season. Um, you know, ranked six uh, among power five quarterbacks with at least 50 rush attempts. Um, just, I think it's not an element of his game that he utilizes all that often, but I think he also, that, that athleticism gives you a, a lot of flexibility at the next level for uh, potentially what kind of offense he's going into. And I, I think 
you know, pro style experience. Um, you know, I think solid arm, um, you know, one of the more accurate passers in this class, not afraid to throw over the middle of the field. I can see why NFL teams are falling in love with JJ McCarthy and getting high on him because I find myself doing the same. Yeah, no, he's, he's, he was definitely one of the more um, surprising ones for me a, a, as well. And like you said, there, there is that kind of um, hashtag sneaky athleticism from him, right? Where when you do see him take off, you notice that, you know what, he's actually pretty good. Like it's a smaller sample size. Sure. But um, 0.28 career missed tackles force per attempt is actually 93rd percentile among uh, quarterback prospects since 2017. And he's, he's well above average in, in pretty much all his rushing metrics. So again, it, it's a smaller sample size, but when he does do it, he, he does it well. So I, I do like that part of his game um, as well, just on top of all the, the, the passing stuff as well. So um, fun player. I, I'll be very interested to see where he lands. 